And and where can I find someone in Jersey that uh, uh, specializes in this? Just so that you know, I don't eat fried foods. I, I'm, I, I eat strictly organic fruits and vegetables. I don't drink, don't use drugs. I don't smoke. I exercise. I'm 72 years old. Mm -hmm. However, uh, my kidney is weakened, I believe, because I was diagnosed with prostate cancer about 10 years ago, and I believe that when they use the radiation, that has something to do with the weakening in my kidney. So I'm trying to find a way to strengthen my kidney, okay, because unfortunately I also found out recently that I have uh, congestive heart failure. My heart's working at 20, 25%, okay, then, and all the specialists have clearly this, like baffled, well, how is this possible? You know what I mean? But yeah, I was just in the hospital three weeks ago. I'm back to work, okay? And, and people are trying to figure out how I can walk across the room, okay? And it's part of it because of my lifestyle. So yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in, in someone uh, identifying some source of organic fruits and vegetables that I can use to so, treat so med medical issues. So you all just heard this brother's question. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's why every brother in the city of Newark, every man ought to be here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yep. Right here. Hungry for information. Mm -hmm. Need more of an understanding in order to address an issue like this. Mm -hmm. And if we keep overlooking the temple, the Bible says, that our body is the temple of God. So therefore, we ought to care for the temple. And one of the points that I want to make, and doctor is going to answer your question, is the following. I had a brother that was around me during COVID, and we are basically dedicating this particular men's expo to a gentleman by the name of Slim Taylor. Slim was around me during COVID for that three or four years. We never would have been able to really broadcast and get the word of God out had it not been for Slim. And Slim was sick. On the inside, Slim was deteriorating. And I never took the time as his brother's keeper to ask Slim how was he doing or to try and make sure then that Slim's health was okay. And brothers, we need to look out for each other. We need to ask each other, how are we doing? And I know this gentleman here very well, come to church, etc. I never would have known he was in that condition. And what we have to learn to do is talk to each other about what's going on in our bodies. To not be so private that something is happening in your body and you ain't talking to nobody about what's going on in your body. Because if you don't, you'll drop, and nobody will never know what was happening to you. And so I am grateful that you had the courage, and that's why we set it up like this, so that men could be in here, and they could be open, and therefore could ask the question like what you just asked. All right? Okay? And so now we're going to turn it back to the doctors, and uh, you all can answer uh, in any way you all choose. Who did I take this mic from? You? Okay. <laughs> let me, let me uh, start off yeah, this because I, I think many of us can chime in on what you just stated. First thing I want to say is you asked me, yeah, you didn't ask me, but you asked if there's somebody you can f ask questions or further. I think you are talking about a holistic doctor. There's a brother that. There's a brother that went to medical school with us back in the day. And when he came out, he did holistic medicine. And he's still doing it. His name is Kevin Holder. Kevin Holder, H-O-L-D-E-R. His office is in South Orange. Kevin, many of my patients go to Kevin, actually. And if, um, because we as a culture do a lot of holistic, you know, I mean, when I grew up, I, that's what happened to me. I, I, went to, I went to school with that, 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 that ass of around my neck, smelling up the bus. 
You know, I, I definitely, my mother had all kinds of jars of everything. His name is Kevin Holder, H-O-L-D-E-R, and he's in South Orange. Now, as far as the nutrition is concerned, it seems as though you're already doing it. Brother, you're already doing it. Number one, you say you don't eat fried foods. Number two, you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables, if you're eating fruits and vegetables, you're already getting a lot of nutrients that you would not get in other foods. Understand McDonald's is not making a million dollars every day because they're making quality food. Popeye's chicken is not, you know what I mean, doing their thing so great because they, and they feel so wonderful about you to keep you healthy. That's just not happening. So in putting a meal together, let's just think about a meal. You want a balanced meal and you want to eat three times a day, if possible. Now, a lot of times it's not possible. You want your fruits and vegetables 110%. What I like to tell people, and, I, and, and you can go on my website and check out my, my book, Eat One Half, the Eat One Half concept. And what it is is that we as black people, we tend to be a little bit overweight, all right? And weight and what you eat, and you, you truly are what you eat. So if you can cut back your carbs, mm -hmm. we all know how we like to fix our plate. Let's make this simple. <laughs> on your plate, no matter how much spaghetti your carbs are, your spaghetti, your bread, your, pa your pasta, your, um, uh, uh, your rice, those are your carbs and your potatoes. If you can cut that in half, whatever you like to fix on your plate, just cut it in half. The vegetables on your plate increase by one half. All right? And as far as your meats are concerned, it should be the uh, largest, it should be the palm of your hand. All right, D no fry, bake it, broil it, whatever you want to do with it, but don't fry it. Because that oil and that, that's doing nothing but clogging up your arteries, okay? Oil. oil. Fruit, fruits and vegetables are beautiful. I love it. You're already doing it. And the fact that you have a 20% ejection fraction, and it, uh, let me step back. Our hearts, it's a muscle. And that muscle has to be able to generate a certain pressure and power to push that blood out into the system. And when it can't, we evaluate it as doctors on that left ventricle, that left ventricle, how, what's the ability of that to push the blood out into our bodies, the rest of the vessels? If that chamber it gets weak, it can't push the blood forward. That is our ejection fraction. You're saying that your ejection fraction is 20%. If it's 20%, brother, most patients with 20% ejection fraction are looking for a heart transplant. That's the way it's going. I'm telling you. But you said a pacemaker. Yeah, some th there are certain pacemakers no, 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 and no, certain no, mechanical. Never had right. None. I had no symptoms. Right. Right. I mean none. You know, there's mysteries in life. <laughs> there's a whole lot of mysteries. And, and you know one thing? I'm going to step back, and, and, and I'm going to tell you something. You know, people come into the office, and they look at us as though we have all the answers. There's so many things that happen to this body that we don't have the answers. And if you think just because we can send a man to the moon and come back that we can understand this body, believe me, most of this body, we're still learning. We don't know. We only can do what we can do at this particular point in time. So we do what we do. 